Oh, I realize I failed to tell you something. Oh, two and two equal five. The Calvine UFO and aerogel drones. Yeah, I, kind of that's how I got into meeting Josh by thinking possibly that the Calvine UFO, this thing, might be a lighter than aircraft. And then J Josh contacted me and told me all about aerogel drones and maybe how it relates to the Tic Tac and how they move and how they can hover at exact altitudes and hold their position and how they communicate. But how does that relate to the Calvine UFO? Well, I think it maybe answers a big question. It fills in a blank. Uh, right, so there's two big kind of theories or ideas that were presented to myself and David Clark. David Clark's man or person said that it was a targeting drone type device used for laser targeting in the Second Gulf War. Makes a lot of sense. The Second Gulf War, at the time the Calvin UFO was spotted, had just started. In fact, that very day. So could it be a laser targeting drone? Uh, yeah, I think it's quite possible. But his contact said the two Harriers seen by the photographers were US. I've got no evidence that that's true. My person who works for BAE Systems said that the two Harriers came from Wharton. I think that makes much more sense. But my contact didn't really make much sense of the elephant in the room, what the weird UFO thing is. He says it looks a bit like a radar targeting drone, but why would they be testing it in the air? Because they test them on poles at the end of runways. So let's combine the two. That it is possibly a lighter than air craft, maybe using aerogel. It is a targeting weapon system used in the Second Gulf War, and the Harriers came from Wharton. I think it's starting making a lot of sense. Oh, first of all, I have to say something. I am in two minds about this whole thing. I have to, have to address the people who still think, and I'm 50-50 on this, that the picture is a fake or a trick or it's not what we're seeing. 50% of my viewers think that it's a reflected rock in a lake and it's a man rowing a boat, not a harrier. Well, or it could be a camera fault. I think they fall into one camp and the other camp think it's a flying saucer. Well, I don't think it's a flying saucer. I think it could actually be a piece of secret military tech. And I think Josh's information about aerogel drones possibly, and that's what I'm saying, might add an extra piece of information. What could have been the scenario is that this Aerogel drone was somehow launched in Perthshire. You're driven up there on a truck, launched, hovers at a stable altitude. The Harriers come in and use it to check that it works as a targeting laser device. It then is sent up out of the way. And in fact, it could just disappear. And what happened to it next? Well, that's a big mystery, isn't it? <laughs> but that's all that we know, that the photographers saw the device, saw the Harriers, and then it shot upwards. I don't think they said it shot sideways. I think they said it shot upwards. And that is a characteristic of these aerogel drone devices, which definitely exist. So, an amazing new development to the Professor Simon channel is graphics. I could sit here, my ugly old face, and tell you what happened, but I decided that wouldn't it be great to have some kind of way to show you as a graphic. So here is my attempt at the Calvine UFO reflecting laser targeting system as a graphic. The Calvine UFO flying object rises up. It's an aerogel drone and hovers at the right altitude over Perthshire. It sends out a signal to an incoming aeroplane. The aeroplane sees the aerogel drone and uses it as a target, firing a laser beam 
at one of the Aerogel drone's faceted mirrors. Hits the faceted mirror, makes a reflection, and is reflected to exactly onto the target in the battlefield. In this case, a drawing of a kiddie's house is illuminated. A second aircraft comes along, sees that the target is being illuminated, and drops a bomb. The bomb then follows the reflected laser beam all the way down to the target. And kaboom. Precise bombing guided by an aerogel drone. Oh, thanks for watching that. Um, right, I need a graphic designer. I also need a sponsor who can actually pay for a graphic designer. Can anybody please reach out to me to help this channel actually help you visualize difficult things by having a decent bit of drawing? I would like, if you're a graphic designer, reach out to me and do better than what you've just seen, but in a pretty simplistic way. I'm not looking for 3D photoreal graphics. I'm looking for things that can explain with a bit of movement and I can edit. And are you a viewer or a patron who can actually sponsor a bit of graphics for this channel? I'd really like to pay the graphic designer. I think it's unfair to expect anybody to do it for exposure. So if you can send me a PayPal donation or if you're a Patreon, leave me a message and say, here's some extra money to your account that goes specifically to pay for a graphic designer. That would be fantastic. But what do you think about the Aerogel Calvine UFO correlation? Do you think there could be a connection? Who knows? I guess the truth is still out there.